Hi, this is Dwyer from uh, GamblersAdvisory.com with some post-fight comments on two fights. The Vladimir Klitschko, Juan Carlos Gomez fight, as well as the Roy Jones Omar Sheikha fight. First, let's talk about Vladimir Klitschko. Vladimir Klitschko exceeded my expectations. I thought Gomez uh, had a chance to win the fight. I thought that the uh, line was a joke and that Gomez was going to test Klitschko. My logic being that Klitschko uh, had a uh, foot speed disadvantage and that Gomez was a southpaw who would be able to stay off of Klitschko's left shoulder and give him problems. Now. Um, I do believe the fight is important. What happened in the fight is Klitschko was able to neutralize the fact that Gomez was off his left shoulder by ending the fight with excellent left hooks. We've posted video of the fight on our page. I do believe, though, that the video shows that Vitaly Klitschko, who is an excellent boxer, who we did pick to beat Sam Peter, Vladimir Klitschko can be beaten. However, it'll take a very highly skilled fighter to do it, and by highly skilled, that immediately disqualifies David Hay, and that also immediately disqualifies most in the heavyweight ranks. I thought Gomez was highly skilled. Gomez is highly skilled. However, and this was a surprise to me, 35-year-old Juan Carlos Gomez was not in as good physical shape for the fight as Vitaly Klitschko. What it will take to beat Vitaly Klitschko, and this is important if you're going to bet on his future fights, is someone who can stay away from Klitschko's dominant right hand, Vitaly's right-handed, and stay off of his left shoulder, and block his left hook. You also need to be prepared for a complete fight. You cannot be physically at a disadvantage. You cannot have stamina problems like Juan Carlos Gomez. So I thought Gomez's best round of the fight was the first round. I would encourage people to look at it. I thought he did exactly what he needed to do, which was to stay off of Vitaly's left shoulder. Keep in mind, Vitaly is shooting a left jab. Vitaly sets up his entire onslaught with left jabs. Then he comes over with strong right hands, and then he hits you with the occasional uh, left hook. Um, a skillful boxer who could force Vitaly Klitschko, who has only fought two fights in the last four years, a talented boxer who could force Klitschko to actually walk around the ring, extend energy, and have to deal with good uh, left-hand counters to the face, and who can literally smother Klitschko's left hook. In other words, someone with the skill level of a, at a lower weight, Bernard Hopkins who has the skills to smother a hook while staying on the left side of a fighter, as Bernard Hopkins did against Kelly Pavlik, could beat Vitaly Klitschko or at least make the match competitive. Now, as it was, as gamblers know, the over-under on this match was six and a half rounds. Uh, all I'm saying, and I understand I am a minority voice, uh, all I am saying is that Juan Carlos Gomez, who did not look to be in the best shape, was able to get the over. He was able to get past the six and a half round threshold. Not only that, quite frankly, he looked in the first round to have Vitaly a bit confused. Vitaly later in the fight actually got penalized a point for a headbutt. Vitaly clearly looked to be uncomfortable at different times in the fight. Now that said, Vitaly Klitschko clearly dominated the fight, and I can see that he won the fight convincingly on my scorecard. I was very impressed with his athleticism. Let me also say too that Styles make fights while his brother Vladimir Klitschko 
is the better athlete and seems to have the better foot movement, it is clear, at least in my eyes, that Vitaly Klitschko is the best Klitschko in the ring. Vitaly has only lost twice, once to Chris Bird in a fight he was absolutely dominating because of a uh, torn rotator cuff, and the second time to an all-time great Lennox Lewis. Um, I can't envision a scenario under which Vitaly Klitschko would lose to Corey Sanders um, or to any of the other fighters, Lehman Brewster, that um, Vladimir Klitschko lost to. Also, if you recall, Sam Peter was able to drop Vladimir Klitschko more than once in their fight before Vladimir was able to beat him. By contrast, Vitaly Klitschko was able to completely dominate um, Sam Peter. Let me also point out, too, that just dynamically, uh, the older child, uh, the older brother, uh, always seems to um, have a psychological upper hand. Um, I don't think if these guys fought, Vladimir Klitschko would be able to translate his athletic superiority into a ring superiority on uh, Vitaly Klitschko. So to sum up, Juan Carlos Gomez had a chance to win this fight. He was a southpaw. He had the better leg movement. Quite frankly, he, did, he didn't have the stamina. He uh, didn't seem to have the uh, ability that I thought he would have in terms of forcing Vitaly to come forward, forcing Vitaly to get out of his comfort zone. Vitaly Klitschko was even able to land some right hands with authority. Um, a heavyweight version of Bernard Hopkins would have an excellent shot against Vitaly Klitschko. I do not believe Vitaly Klitschko is unbeatable. Uh, of course, I don't believe any heavyweight in history has been unbeatable. Keep in mind, even the great Rocky Marciano uh, should have lost that fight against Ezra Charles where he got his nose split open. Ezra Charles got reckless in that last round. Let me just give some very brief thoughts on Roy Jones versus Omar Shika. If you look at Omar Sheikha's record, you're going to find out that Omar Sheikha has been living on reputation for years. Um, Roy Jones had the added advantage of fighting before a hometown crowd in Pensacola. It was clear that Sheikha, who is rusty, could not handle Roy Jones' hand speed. Roy, James, Roy Jones was able to hit him with several flush shots. Viewers should not confuse Omar Sheikha with Joe Calzaghe. I do not believe this fight should be interpreted as a return to greatness for Roy Jones, who happens to be one of my favorite boxers in history. Um, fighting Omar Sheikh is a far cry from fighting a Bernard Hawkins. It's a far cry from fighting a Joe Calzaghe. Uh, while it was a good entertaining show, I do not believe that it establishes any kind of dominance by Roy Jones. By the way, Roy Jones sensing the problems inherent in the styles of both Vladimir Klitschko and Vitaly Klitschko actually has been telling people close to him that he wants to actually fight for the heavyweight title against one of the Klitschko brothers. I do believe that Roy Jones is vastly more talented than David Hay. But um, I believe he is kidding himself if he feels that he can beat either Klitschko brother. Um, the weight is just too much. Uh, Chris Bird, who fought both Klitschko brothers, believes that uh, Vitaly's length is simply too much. Uh, Chris Bird believes that Vitaly Klitschko is the better Klitschko, as do I. Of course, Klitsch uh, Chris Bird got uh, stopped by Vladimir Klitschko, completely embarrassed. Such is Vladimir Klitschko's power. Uh, let us know what you think. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Of course, we're going to continue to uh, make boxing videos. Viewers don't have to worry about that. And, of course, we're going to continue to tell it like it is, regardless of how hyped the boxers are or how lionized these fighters are by the mainstream media. Let us know your thoughts here on YouTube and visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. And remember, when you bet, always use your head. Good luck.